Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I've just realised there's a huge steering wheel taking up the majority of the screen. Hang on. How do I how do I usually set up this in the car? Is that better? That's a bit better. Um yeah, so I'm starting this in the car. I haven't started a vlog in the car for I can't actually remember the last time I did. I've just realised it's raining. I put my washing out this morning and it's raining. I knew, I knew this would happen. It wasn't supposed to rain until like 4 p.m. I just I, I just knew by the clouds, I was like, it's gonna rain before then, and it is, and my washing's out on the line right now. I mean, it's not like raining, like torrential rain, but it's like drizzling. Is that okay? Do I need to wash it again? We'll see how we go. Oh God, typical. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, so I'm actually in Kingston Park at the minute, and I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. Um, Oh, my B-Reel's just gone off. Let's do a B-Reel together. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted in this, but um, I think this is so funny. <laughs> there we go. Lovely, send that. Um, if you want to add me on B-Reel, feel free. I don't post very often at all, if I'm perfectly honest, but my at, I'll just pop it on screen. Right, what was I talking about? Because I'm getting too distracted. Right, I'm getting my eyebrows done. Um, I'm in Kingston Park. I'm going to get my eyebrows done in Superdrug. I've had my eyebrows done before in Superdrug. Um, it's like, it's not like HD brows or anything. It's just kind of getting them kind of tidied up a bit. I do usually do my own eyebrows. However... I'm kind of at the point where like I've I've kind of hacked away at them a little bit too long so I'm not a professional I've got no idea what I'm doing I just kind of get rid of the the bit like the fuzz that's you know and then I just put like dye brow on and yeah it's just it's getting to the point where I need a little bit of help you know because my eyebrows are letting me down so I need them to just kind of reshape them put them back to what they should be I'm gonna see if they can dye them for me, but I haven't been in for quite a while, so they might not do it without a patch test. But fingers crossed that they do, because I do usually get a, get them done there. It's just, it's been a little while, and sometimes they like to redo them every like six months or so. Yeah, so we're gonna go into Superdrug. I also wanna pick up some new eyelashes if they've got them, because I found a new favorite pair of eyelash. I'll show you, it's the ones I've got on at the moment, but don't take this as what they look like, because I slept, I swear I slept. I must have slept like on this eyeball the other night because the this set of eyelashes is just kind of all clumped together. But yeah, I'm gonna go and see if they've got those eyelashes in because I wanna pick up a new pair. And yeah, let's get our eyebrows done. Well, that did not go to plan. I um, went in and they wouldn't do it without the little slip that you get from the um, patch test. So I'm coming to the Metro Center to see if they'll do it here. If not, there's one other place which I think might do it. the metro center now so let's have a little chat about these eyebrows oh they look i feel like they look even worse on camera <laughs> okay i shouldn't have gone where i went okay so the super drugs that i tried to go to they wouldn't um do it because i didn't have this little slip that proved that i'd had a patch test so i went to this other place it's called aura beauty it's in the metro center it's been there for years to be fair so yeah, I've had my lashes done there. I've had my brows done there quite a few times and they've not turned out like this. So she said to me, what kind of colour do you want to go? And I just said something to like match my roots. So it looks like natural. I don't know if she just left the dye on too long or I don't know, but I'm not usually one to like slate a company online or whatever. And I'm not like slating them. I'm just giving an honest review and I'm not really that happy. So I don't think I'm going to be going back there. I think I need to, I think if I'm going to get my eyebrows done, I think I just need to like book an appointment with somewhere that I know is good rather than just like doing one of the like walk-in services because I feel like they're never quite as good as like booking and whatever. But it is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, there's no point in me like going on about how much I don't like them. I read online that if you use nail polish remover, 
on them it might like fade down some of the dye if that doesn't work it will fade down anyway that's the way I'm thinking about it and I'm kind of thinking because there's no way my eyebrows are that thick so I'm thinking that the majority of it is just like the the brow dye but anyway I did do some shopping to cheer myself up of course so to get so with the car park that I parked in to get into the metro center you have to go through like a TK Maxx slash home sense it's like a joined one so I went in there and I purchased let me have a look. Purchased this, which I think is quite nice. So this is actually to replace the little board at my coffee corner. Let me show you what's happened to that. So I got this one from B&M. Um, absolutely nothing against it. It is absolutely fine. However, when you've got a cat that likes to push things off of shelves um, and benches and everything, um, yeah, so I had these three jars on it and he pushed the coffee one off and broke it so I had to put it in another one of these jars and um, so I needed to get one of these with sides on it so that if it started you know tapping things it's not gonna go anywhere so we're replacing that and I'm thinking as well that might hide some of the um, wiring as well a bit better so we put that back where it should be I can't actually remember what was on this shelf I think it was this yeah because then I had like all my sweet stuff on this one and then like a there we go there we go and then we've got these here and I've also got the cutest little spoon ignore this mess <laughs> um this little spoon which actually came with matching bowls from Aldi let me show you so you can get these from Aldi or you could get these from Aldi they're like little bamboo bowls yeah, they came with matching spoons, but I thought it was cute to just pop there. And there we go. That's kind of a replacement so that they can go back where they were or where they should be. Anyway, that's not everything that I bought, of course. I said I was going to show you some lashes that, like, don't don't take this for what they look like. But they're not actually from Superdrug. They're from Tesco's. But I did manage to pick them up. It's these ones from W7. These are Hypnotize um, in the Wispy section. And yeah, I picked up those. And then whilst I was in the Metro Centre, I did get some of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I finally, finally caved into the hype. Um, I've never ever tried this on my skin before. It was going round something crazy in, was it just last year or the year before? I don't know. And I never really got it. It's not that I didn't get it, I got it. But I was ne I've was i never really been into like makeup. Like, I, I have and I haven't. Like, I like putting makeup on, but I, I don't really put makeup on on, like, an everyday occasion. But I thought for those times that I do put makeup on, having the flawless filter might... I don't know. This is the one that you put on beforehand, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so I got some of that. And then I also picked up from Wilco these little packing bags because I ran out of carrier bags to pack my vintage stuff in. Um, so I just picked up these... I was trying to avoid like buying stuff like this, like packaging and whatnot for vintage parcels, but I, like I say, I've run out of carrier bags to, having said that, I've just got a carrier bag from TK Maxx, so yeah, that'll go for another one, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, I'm going to try my very best to see what I can do with these eyebrows and I'll let you know how it goes. Right, I've just given my eyebrows a good scrub. Oh with um, nail varnish remover and they do look a lot better i think it was just the dye that she put on i mean you can see how much came off but what i will say is if you're gonna try it keep your eyes closed because that stings <laughs> if you don't um but i can't actually imagine what that has just done to my skin so i am gonna lather them in moisturizer right now because i feel like i've just stripped my skin of like everything <laughs> um which isn't funny i know i don't know why i'm laughing but um yeah i feel like it has made a difference though but i do need to moisturize 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 because that did sting a little bit but i feel like that might be because of the fact that it's um like i've just had them done so my pores are all this is probably the worst thing i've just done actually i've just had my eyebrows waxed so my like it's all open and like vulnerable and I've just put nail varnish remover on it. Oh, God. 
well, uh, not recommended. Um, I don't say that I told you to do this. It did kind of work, so yeah. <laughs> don't take my advice though. Just do what you're gonna do. Just it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I also wanted to show you once I was out, I got an Amazon order. I don't know why I'm acting so like excited about this because the items in here are not that exciting, but they're quite exciting to me. Are they exciting? I don't think they are actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hang on. I got very like desk organizer type things. Like stuff that I think I would rather not spend my money on, but I feel like I have to. So, so basically I picked up this, which is essentially an extension cable to go under my desk. So I've got these like clips that go onto the back of the dress, the back of the desk, which kind of you put your extension cables. It, it'd be easier if I just showed you, hang on. So under my desk here, I've got these little organizer basket things, which just essentially clip on like here. Um, and they keep all your wires and stuff like organized. I say organized, it does look a mess, but it looks, it will look more organized once I've got the other extension cable plugged in on this side. So yeah, I've got another extension cable for that. And I got it because it also has, where are they? USB plugs in it as well. And I always find that I'm having to like unplug things, like unplug USBs to plug other things in. So that will come in handy. Um, so I got that. Would you guys be interested if I set up like an Amazon storefront of the stuff that I bought from Amazon? Because I feel like I buy so much stuff from Amazon that I find like incredibly useful. I personally actually really love an Amazon storefront seeing what people have bought because I feel like Amazon is such like a wide catalog of things that you can literally, unless you know what you're searching for specifically, like you'd never stumble across things that you might need. If I can work out how to do an Amazon storefront, I'll make one and I'll leave a link in the description if there is one. Now this, again, another thing which I didn't realize that I needed until like my desk started getting annoying. I need to, I hate when they sellotape things shut because I can never open it. I need scissors. I don't have scissors. What can I use? I'm just gonna have to rip it open. There we go. So this is a mini cable clip. <laughs> and essentially, oh my God, there's loads. Okay. So basically you stick this to your desk and it just puts the, and then you just put the cables through to stop them from falling down the back. So let me show you again. So on this part of my desk, I've got two, I've got two of these cables. One of them has actually fallen down the back, shocker. Here we go. And they're all twisted as well. <laughs> but I use these to plug in things like my iPad, my phone or whatever. And they always fall down the back. Let me shove this down. But this essentially, I would just kind of like stick there and you can put these in to stop them from falling back. So they're always gonna be there. Useful, 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 useful. And then finally, I think I've probably left the most boring one to last. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I picked up a new plug. <laughs> this is actually for downstairs. Um, this is for the kitchen. So basically this specific, do you know, I only really buy things when I've got like specific things in mind for it. So one thing that I charge quite regularly that has to be charged is my doorbell. So I've got one of those ring doorbells and if anyone's got the battery version, you'll know that they don't last that long. When I charge it, because it's a USB charge, I have to bring it upstairs, plug it in, and then I usually end up forgetting about it, and it's and then my doorbell's like out of use for like ages. I say ages, it's usually like two days max, but if it was downstairs on the kitchen bench, I wouldn't forget about it. So I've got a charger, but it's also got the USB-C on it as well. So if I wanted to charge my phone, I could, but it's also got like a USB, so it's a both, both plug thing. Both plug thing? Doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. So that is what I bought from Amazon. Also that clock that was in the beginning of this video that is also from Amazon and I am obsessed with it. I don't know why. I just think it's so like sleek and nice. Let me show you it again. I just love this clock. I think it's so pretty. If I do manage to work out this Amazon storefront thing, I will link it. I don't know. This by the way has come in, oh, whoops, <laughs> hang on. I didn't think they would all fall out like that. This also comes with loads of different like things. So depending on how many wires you've got, like obviously I've only got the two that's like coming 
through. Oh, they're all falling out. If I even hold up to five, or if you join them all together, 13.15, you can have 15 cables if you really wanted. <laughs> Don't know why you would, but if you did, you could. Si, sí, señora Pérez, toma patatas fritas y ensalada para ti. Woohoo! 450 day streak. <laughs> doing my Spanish lessons. You would think after 450 days that I'd be pretty good at it. Um, That's not really the case with me, unfortunately. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can understand bits of it, but mm, I feel like with Duolingo, I've got a 450 day streak. That doesn't mean that I've been like hardcore learning Spanish for 450 days. Some days I just do like this game where you have to like match the pairs. Um, and that gets you a day on the streak and it takes like two minutes. So yeah, but still I've stuck with it. Yeah, I'll take that. Right, I finally managed to sort out that Amazon store and it is now live, I think. There's not very much on it, but there's some stuff. I'll co I'll continuously, like, as I discover things or as I remember things, I'll add them onto it. But yeah, like I say, there'll be a link in the description for that. So I'm gonna make some tea now because it is 1644. 1644? 1844. 1844. Do you know what? I tried to be really clever there and do, like, military time, um, and then I got it wrong, so uh, never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna make fajitas. I haven't had fajitas in ages. So I've got the easy option. I could have just done this with wraps. But yeah, I, I bought one of these from Aldi maybe last week, I think. They don't go out of date, do they? Oh my lord, surely not. August, we're fine, we're good. Yeah, I bought this from Aldi just cause like, I feel like when I was in Aldi the, at the time, like I feel like my brain was having a bit of a malfunction. I couldn't work out like what I needed for for years. I don't know what was going, don't ask, right? I don't know, because I don't know. But, so I've got that kit which comes with the tortilla wraps, tomato salsa, smoky flavored barbecue fajita seasoning, and that's it. It's a little bit of a rip off, not gonna lie. You could just buy this separate for a lot cheaper. But anyway, <laughs> um, and then I've just got my chicken to go in, and then I think you're supposed to just add like peppers and onion maybe. Yeah, it says to add ch chicken, peppers and onion, but I tend to add like other things in too. So I've got some broccoli that needs eating up, so that's gonna go in. And then also some spinach. I thought that might be an interesting turn of events. I've never tried spinach and fajita wraps, but we're gonna try it. So yeah, let's make fajitas. Oh, that's reminded me of that scene from Friends. Was that, I hope you're hungry because I've made fajitas. And then he goes like, oh no, that's the sangria. He goes like that. Bloop. Is it fajitas that he's made? I can't remember. Ross from Friends, if anyone knows, let me, let me know in the comments if I'm right that he's made fajitas and he burns his hands on the thing because he puts, yeah. Anyway, let's make fajitas. I can't even open the box. I've tried both ends and it's just ripped. Goodness gracious me, we're off to a good start. kind of done now the main major stuff is done and my boyfriend is on his way over and we'll be having those so i'm just going to end this vlog here i hope that you've enjoyed it if you have then please give it a thumbs up go hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next one bye guys yeah.